I'm here at Columbia University in New York where Victor Santa Maria has been doing some very important and pioneering research in cerebral palsy. And Victor, you've been looking at segmental trunk support in children with cerebral palsy. Can you tell me what was the big issue that you were facing here? I think that as a clinician, one of the, of the major challenges that you find every day when treating this population is postural control in sitting position because we are dealing with moderate severe cases of, of cerebral palsy and the major goal is to promote uh, independence in sitting position so they can interact with the environment. What did you do in the study? So in the study we tried to address how an external segmental trunk uh, support can improve postural and also reaching performance. What results did you get? So long story short, uh, in those children that uh, lost balance control around the ribs, when you provide a specific segment, segmental control uh, at that specific level, they were able to improve posture and reaching. When you move, when you lower that segmental level of, of control a bit down, there is a detrimental motor uh, performance. And how easy is it to get the right sort of segmental control? What, what physically do you need to do that? So the first thing, you need the right population, which is um, children with cerebral palsy, GMFCS level 4 and 5, and also uh, you need the, the correct measurement. In our case, we use the segmental assessment of trunk control, or SATCO. In this test, you can pinpoint the specific segment of the trunk at which, at which the child loses balance control. And what would you say is the basic take-home message for clinicians coming out of this? I think uh, we still need more research in terms of um, uh, assessment and training, but our data indicates that clinicians should approach uh, the treatment of children with cerebral palsy um, by using a multi-segmented model of trunk control. They can provide a specific level of support for training purposes, for example.